love you. I love you. I'll always remember the way I first told you these words with a text message when we'd been dating for two weeks. <laughs> of course, not ideal, but in that moment, I just couldn't wait to say what I'd been feeling. I could go on all day. You've made the last eight years the best eight years of my life. There comes a time in every young woman's life when they meet the love of their life. And for Mallory, that day was about 15 years ago when she met me. <laughs> but from the moment we met, I knew there was something extraordinary about our bond, a connection that has only deepened over the years. Whew. Today, as I look at you both, I am reminded of the countless memories, the laughter that has echoed through our lives, and the unwavering support we have provided each other through thick and thin. extremely lucky to say that Mallory has not just been a part of a chapter in my book of life, but she is truly on every page. The memories Mal and I share are irreplaceable. From slingshot trips to Chicago for One Direction, the boys who did hold our hearts before our husbands, watching pirated movies of Twilight in our teen bedrooms, going to Frankie Muth for every major life event, and being detained at the Canadian border together. together and now we are women together. Mallory, you deserve every single beautiful thing. Oh my god, this world has to offer. Mallory Blake, I'm so blessed to have you in my life. You have the most heartwarming smile, a hilarious sense of humor, a compassionate heart. You have such a brilliant mind, such a powerful drive to overcome any obstacles in your way. Andrew. Eight years ago, I was staring at the ceiling in disbelief because someone I had only known for two weeks told me that he loved me. <laughs> and now, today, I get to marry that man. Every single day since then, you have shown me how much you mean it. What has happened during all of those days in between has been the greatest, most beautiful chapter of my life. No movie, book, or fairy tale could have ever prepared me for what it's like to love and be loved by you. You came into my life and you made it bigger, better, and brighter. There are a million things that make you the only soul that I want forever with. There's your ability to make me laugh even when you're not trying. There's your truly unparalleled patience and forgiveness that makes me and everyone around you kinder. There's your determination to sing along to songs you don't know the words to. <laughs> There's your ability to make me feel at home no matter where we are. And most of all, there's your incredible heart. You love others selflessly and without condition. Your core set of beliefs and values all center around a simple message, which is to love one another. And you live this message every day. Whether you're dropping everything to help our families, making sure our cats have every want and a need attended to, or advocating for those in need, you constantly exemplify what it means to be a good person. I've watched you love her from the moment you came into her life. To quote my own maid of honor, 
and best friend. Andrew, I hope you have as much fun growing old with her as I did growing up with her. I've been friends with Andrew for a very long time. Longer than I would personally prefer to admit because it makes me feel very old, but <laughs> a long time that makes me happy to be a part of his life. We've known each other since high school when we started doing nerd stuff together like playing Magic the Gathering. Through college where we did nerd stuff together like playing D&D and Magic the Gathering. <laughs> and as adults playing D&D and Magic the Gathering and other nerd stuff <laughs> like Quidditch. <laughs> Even if I'm not here to throw down medieval style, it's an honor to be held in such a high regard by this massive gem of a human. And based off of the vows, I think, Mallory, you already know that you made a great choice with this one. He's the kind of person who always has the best interest at heart of the little guy, the person who's marginalized, the person who needs protection from someone larger than them, which for Andrew is everyone <laughs> right so no matter what Andrew is a friend who has your best interests at heart and in no situation is that more obvious to us than it is with you Mallory you are very clearly the center of his focus and that is a wonderful focus to be the center of I say I love you with words every day, every goodbye, every phone call, every fight, and yes, in text messages. <laughs> Today with these vows, in front of all these people we love, I say the most important I love. Mallory, I promise to be faithful and caring husband to you, my one and only, through all the ups and downs of life. I promise to always be there for you to vent to on bad days, to laugh with on good days, and to be present with on all the days in between. I promise to share with you my time and attention, to support you when you need me, to lean on you when I need support. I promise to always put the work in to better myself and our relationship. Melanie, I love you forever. You are the most caring and compassionate man I've ever met, and I'm the luckiest woman in the world. Through these eight years, we have shared millions of happy moments filled with laughter, celebration, and pure joy, and I know that there are countless more in store. But I don't just want to marry you because we can share in the joy together so easily. I want to marry you because I want to go through the bad times with you. Your love makes me strong, and I know that together we can conquer any challenge we encounter. There will be days where we have to help carry the other over the finish line, but I know with complete certainty that we will be there together at the end of it all. So today, I promise to love you forever with all of that I am. I promise to be the home for your heart and shelter for your fears. As long as I am alive, you will always have a safe spot to land, and you will always know there's at least one person who believes that you can do anything you set out to do. I promise not to put up the Christmas lights on November 1st. <laughs> I make no promises about November 2nd. I promise to choose you every day and to put in the work that an everlasting love requires. And when I say work, I don't mean daunting tasks and clocking in and out. What I mean is work like how an artist works on their painting. Work that can be difficult and maybe frustrating, but at its root is full of love and passion. It is a work that keeps you up at night because you are constantly inspired by the ways you can improve. It is a work that requires diligence and patience, but doesn't feel like labor because it makes you so happy to know you get the chance to do this work in your life. I promise I will do the work to help make this life our masterpiece. I am so in love with you, and I can't wait to fall in love with you all over again tomorrow and every day after. Thank you for trusting me with all of your tomorrows. Let's do this. <laughs> it's like I'm breathing for the first time. Now I see it with these new eyes. A picture frame that can't contain the daylight at my door. I can feel it like the morning. I can hear it like a story, a symphony. I can't believe I never.
Every footprint is a promise A confidence that carries us When we don't know the way Every action unspoken Our purpose in motion A peace inside I never could replace Believe in you are the reason